Hey, how's it going guys? I wanted to show you guys a quick video here of just how I rigged this ATV. It started a lot easier using a uh, illuminated toggle button right here. Instead of using the uh, electric start here, which I could never really get to work anyway. Plus it would always get dirty and it wouldn't contact and it would just never start up. I cleaned it one time with WD-40 and it worked for a little while, but ever since then it just doesn't work. But I'll show you guys how I wire this up in a minute and show you guys the comparison between the original one and what I rigged here. And it works pretty good. Alright, so this is one of those cheap Chinese ATVs. It's a Baja 90 with a 90cc little engine in there. It's automatic transmission. It has the electric start on it. And this is how you start it up. Flip the start button right there. Turn the key to the on position. Flip the gas down so there's gas going through the carburetor. Get a few pumps of gas here. Get some gas through the carburetor. And we'll try the starter that came with the ATV. You gotta hold the brake down, handbrake, and push the button here to get it to turn over. And as you see, nothing's happening at all. See, it clicked once right there, but all the other times it's not doing nothing. Now, this here is the beauty of rigging things up to work. This is just a little switch I put in here. I have it wired up straight to the starter. There's a ground because this is an illuminated switch and it's going straight to the battery. This is how it works. You see how easy that was to start? It started right up with no effort at all. I'll show you that again. Ignition off. Turn the key. Switch. Right there. That's how easy it was to start. I didn't even have to use a click start here because I didn't do anything. I also wanted to point out that the beauty of this system too is that even though you have it rigged up to the switch, it always turn over when you flip it right here. The good thing about this is though, it still needs the ignition to run. So if the key's not turned to the on position, it'll just keep on turning the motor over and it'll never start because there's going to be no spark going through the CDI due to the spark plug into the cylinder. So it'll never start up right here. Until you turn the key, then it will start. That's the better thing about this switch right here. So no one can just turn on your ATV and get off with it. Alright, so this is how I wired it up here. You see this big, thick gauge red wire here? This is what originally went to the starter. The starter's right here. And what I did is I just got my own wire here with the spade terminal and just bolted on right there. I don't know if you can see that. In line with the starter wire right there. So that's no problem. That just went on there easily. From there, which in turn is right in the middle wired right there to the on accessory terminal of the switch. From there, the earth ground of the switch just goes down here. I just found a solid metal piece right here. I guess what it is essentially like the block of this little 80cc motor. I just grounded it to there. Supply bolts. That just goes straight through here into the ATV. Goes right here right into the battery on the positive terminal. Although the only thing I recommend is if you're gonna go this route is to just use some thicker gauge wire at least like maybe a 12 to 14 gauge because what I used here was 18 gauge wire and there's a lot of current running through this usually when I go to start the starter because the starter does draw a lot of amperage from the battery and this gets really hot really fast after a couple of seconds and remember, never leave this switch running because it'll be t it'll burn out this switch right here. All you got to do is, as soon as the engine turns over, just flip it off. That's all you need to do with this system. And we'll try that one more time. Old switch really does nothing. New improvised starter switch. Perfect. Starts it every time really fast. No problems. Easy starting. You're good to go. Hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about how I wire this, just feel free to comment or message me and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching.